Hey everyone and welcome to the club. Today I'm going to be showing you step by step on how to draw the Fortnite logo. Now the easiest way to start this drawing is by starting over on the left side with the letters. So let's start over on the left. We start with the edge of the F. Starting from the very top, we're going to draw a straight line coming down the side. Let's go back up to the top. We're going to draw a straight line going across towards the edge of the F. We'll come down with a short line. Now we're going to go back. Come back in, leaving a gap on the side. Now we're going to come down towards the bottom of the F. Now we're going to draw a shorter line going across towards the right. Come down again. Back over towards the left. Now we're going to bring this down, but we want to go a little bit higher than the line on the left side. So we're going to come down to right about there. Now we're going to draw an angled line going up. Now we're going to tuck the O right up against the F. So we start at the top, it's not going to be as tall. So start up here and draw an oval. Touching that corner, coming down towards the bottom. Now I'm going to work my way back up towards the top. Going all the way around, back up to the top. Let's draw the inside of the O. So it's a thinner oval, starting from the top, curving around towards the bottom. Now I'm going to work our way back up towards the top. Let's go ahead and fill the inside of the O in black. I'm going to leave a little bit of space and draw the edge of the R. So in line with the top of the O, draw a straight line going down the same height. Now at the top, I just want to curl around the edge of the R. Go around. I'm just going to pull that into right about there. Let's go back to the bottom. We're going to flatten it off with a straight line. Now we're going to go up. Go up. Now the edge of the R comes down in an angle. So start up here, come down. Go up to the top of the circle, come down that same length line. We'll close this off with a straight line. Now let's draw the inside of the R. In line with the inside edge, draw a straight line coming down. Now we're going to connect the top and bottom with a curve, going out towards the right and then back in. We're going to fill that inside area in black. Now let's move over and draw on the T. We're going to start with the side on the left, in line with the top of the R. Come straight down, just touching the edge of the R. Go across the top with a straight line. Come down the side. Now we're going to come in towards the center, leaving a gap. So we'll start on the left, come across, and over towards the right. And from the inside, we're going to come straight down towards the bottom of the T to right about there. And then we'll close it off along the bottom. Now let's draw the left side of the N. From the top of the T, we're going to step over, draw a straight line coming down towards the same height. Now along the top, we're just going to angle up over towards the right with a slight angle. And at the bottom, we're going to go straight across the bottom. Let's go back to the top. We're going to angle this down. Coming down, about halfway down the N. Now we're going to go back straight up towards the top. We're going to flatten off the top. Now let's go back to the bottom. I'm going to go straight up. Come down with an angle to right about there. Now I'm going to go up in a slight angle towards the outside. I just want to line this up with the top. Now I'm going to connect the top and bottom with a straight line. Now we're going to move over and draw on the eye. From the top of the end, we're going to step down, draw a straight line, coming down a little bit lower than the end. On the top, we're just going to angle up slightly towards the right, and the bottom will go straight across. Go back to the top and draw a straight line coming down. Now from the top of the eye, we're going to step down, draw a straight line coming down from the edge of the T. From the top, we're just going to angle this up, going up towards the top of the T, and then we'll come straight down the right side. Now from here, I just want to draw two straight lines coming in. One on the left, and then one on the right. Now I'm going to come straight down, starting on the left side, come down towards the bottom of the T, and then on the right we'll come down to the same height, and then we'll close off the bottom. Now the last letter, the E, we're going to step up from the corner of the T, draw a straight line coming down, come down to the same height. From the top of the E, we're going to go up in an angle, 
from the bottom, we're gonna go straight across, just lining these up. And from the top, we're gonna come down. We're gonna come across with a straight line, and then we'll come down. Let's go to the bottom. Go up. I'm gonna pull this in, just lined up with the line along the top. And we're gonna come up. Wanna leave a gap in the center? Now we're gonna come out. Come out along the bottom, and then we'll close it off with a straight line. Now we're just gonna draw a thick frame around the sides and the bottom. So we start just up above the O, draw a straight line going up. We're gonna go across over the F, just passing the edge of the F. Now we're gonna pull this straight down. Coming down, we wanna go past the bottom of the F to right about there. Let's go over to the E. So on top of the E, right here, we're gonna step up, draw an angle line going up, come straight down. Now I just wanna match the height that we have on the left side. And now we're gonna connect these two points with a curve going up in the middle. So start out here, curve up, and then I'll bring that back down on the right side. Now from here, I just wanna draw the edge of the ground. So we start on the left side here, we're gonna curve up and over towards the right, and we draw a bump. Go up in an angle, now I'm gonna curve across, going up towards the right. Now I'm gonna pull this down, curving across and then down. From here we're gonna go straight across. I'm gonna do a short curve, coming down. I'm gonna come across again. Now I'm gonna connect that top point to the bottom with another curve. Now before we add any detail, I wanna go ahead and fill this outer area in black. Okay, so now that we've got the main part of the logo done, we're gonna start adding some details. We're gonna start over on the left with the two trees. So we're gonna draw the first tree in an angle. So from the top, we're gonna draw a straight angle line coming down towards the bottom. Now from the top, I just wanna draw some zigzags going out. Go out and then in. And continue this pattern and go a little bit wider as we come down towards the base of the tree. And we'll just pull that back in towards that center line. Let's draw in the right side. Coming down and back in. and then we can go in and fill the tree in black. I just wanna thicken up the trunk of the tree, so we're just gonna thicken it up on both sides. Now we're gonna add a slightly taller tree on the inside. Starting from the top, we're just gonna angle this down and in towards that point. And again, we're gonna repeat those little patterns along the side. And then over on the right. And then again, we're gonna fill that in black.
and then we'll also thicken up the trunk. I'm just going to add a very simple picket fence on top of the trees. So we start on the end, we draw a short line going down. Now we're going to go across with a curve towards that side of the mountain. Step down, draw another curve going across. Now I'm just going to draw the pickets going across. So a series of little lines going across those two lines. Now I just want to extend it just up above so you can see the tips coming up. Let's add that small springboard on the side. Starting at the top, we're just going to angle down. Now I'm just going to draw a zigzag pattern all the way down towards the top. Just going back and forth. Now let's draw in the first castle. Starting right beside the springboard, I'm going to draw an angle line going up and out. We're going to curve across and then up. Now I'm going to draw the top of the castle. Come in with a short line and then come down with a short line. Do that one more time. I'm going across, draw another point going up across and then down and then back in. Now from here I'm just going to curve up and then out towards the left. Now we're going to go up to a point going up. We're going to come down the right side. Now we're going to come down with a straight line. Now we're going to draw a little indent coming in, down and then back out. From here we're going to come straight down, go across and all the way down towards the bottom. Let's go ahead and fill that in black. Now we're gonna add a little bit more detail to this castle. On the side, we're gonna draw a little platform. A straight line going out. We're just gonna thicken that up. And then at the bottom, we're just gonna draw an angle line coming down and in. Now on the end, I'm just gonna extend this going up, come in, and then down. Now let's draw the main castle. Starting from the base, curve up towards the top to right about there. We're gonna angle up and in, and go straight up towards the top. From here, we're going to draw a point going up. Now we're going to come down in an angle. Come down the side. Go down, we're going to slope down the side. Now we're going to come straight down. Now at the bottom, we're just going to flare it out towards the right. Let's go ahead and fill that in black. Now let's add some detail along the top. On the slope here, we're going to draw one straight line, go across and then down. We're going to fill that in black. Now on the ends, we're going to draw a short line coming out the sides. We go up in an angle and we'll cap off the top with a straight line. Fill that in black as well. Now we're going to draw on the mast of the flag. From this right corner, we're going to go straight up towards the top. Now we're going to draw a wave. Curve up, come down, and curve up towards the right. Now I just want to taper this back. Starting from this tip, we're going to curve down. Now right here in the middle, we're going to go up, and then curve back down towards the mast. Let's go ahead and fill that in black. Now let's go ahead and block out this building on the side. Starting from the bottom, curve across, and then up. We're going to go across, now we're going to come straight down. Let's go ahead and fill that in black. Now from the top corners, I'm going to draw a short line going out towards the side. Now from the left, I'm going to curve in and then up. And I'm going to draw a straight line down towards the right side and then we'll fill that in black. Now over on this side of the slope, we're gonna go straight up with a short line. Now we're gonna angle up, going across towards the top, and we'll come straight down and fill those areas in black. 
Now we're gonna add in the satellite dish. From the top of this slope, draw two angle lines coming in towards each other. Cap off the top with a straight line, and then we'll fill that in. Now we're gonna draw on the back side of the satellite dish. We're gonna draw a curve. Start from the top, curve in, and then back out. We connect these two points with a slight curve going out and down. Let's fill that in. Now from the back of the satellite dish, we're gonna draw three curves. One along the top, going around, and then in. Step down, draw another curve, and then one smaller one. And then the center point of the satellite dish, we're gonna draw two lines going in towards the center point. I'm gonna add a little box, a little square. Fill that in black. Now at the bottom of the square, we're gonna angle down towards the bottom of the dish. Go back to the top, angle up and across. And now the last building. From this side of the building, we're gonna step in, go up with a short line, go up with a slight angle, and then go up to the top. Now we're gonna curve the top of the roof. Curve down and then across. Now from here, I'm just gonna angle down towards the top of this mound. Let's go ahead and fill that in black. Now on the left side, we're gonna draw a chair. Start with a straight line. On the left side, we're gonna draw a curve going up and then down. We'll fill that in black. Now we're gonna draw three legs. From the bottom corner on the left, we're gonna angle down. From the right, we'll angle down towards the right. And then from the center, we're gonna come straight down. Let's add in the umbrella. We're gonna start with the base. We're gonna draw a small little rectangle. Fill that in black. Now from here, we're gonna go straight up and then angle out towards the left. Let's add in the top of the umbrella. We're gonna draw a short angle line going across. Now we're gonna connect the ends with a curve going up and then back down. And then again, filling that in black. Now I just wanna extend the edge of the cliff here. So stepping down, we're gonna angle down, and then come straight down and angle over the E and fill that in black. And the... Now we're gonna add in that tree. Starting out here, draw an angle line going up. Now we're gonna curve across and then up to the top. Let's thicken that up. Just curving down, and we'll get a little bit thicker along the base and fill that in black. On the left side, we're gonna draw a hook going out and then up. Now on this side, we're gonna curve across and then down. Draw a short angle line going up. Let's add that tire swing. Draw an oval along the bottom. Now we're just gonna thicken that up. And then in the center at the top, we're gonna draw a straight line going up towards that branch. Now let's draw the canopy of the tree. Starting from the top, we're gonna curve down and up. We're gonna do this little pattern where we curve down and up all the way to the top. Now we're gonna start to bring it down. Curve down and up down towards the bottom. Let's go over to the right side. Curve down and up. There's a series of these little curves. We go up, now we're just gonna bring it down a little on the side. Now let's go back to the left side. I'm gonna curve up and over towards the top. Round this out and then come down on the right side. Let's fill that in black. and then we'll add in the bottom canopy. We're gonna start over on the left side. We're just gonna draw a series of little curves going over that branch, over towards the right. Now we'll connect these two points with a curve going up and then down. Let's fill that area in black. Now the last thing we're gonna do is add a few spikes in between this building and the tree. So right here, we're just gonna draw a point going up and taper it back down. We'll add a few more angling this in and out. And that's pretty much it. There we have it, there's the Fortnite logo. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Make sure you subscribe and send me your requests in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.